When I was 13, my dad told me that, did you know the Navy ran a college? It's called the Naval Academy. This is amazing. I can't believe I'm here. This is a really amazing, important, historic place. Being gay, I didn't think was gonna dictate what I could and couldn't do in life. I wanted to go to the Naval Academy for what the Naval Academy was. Um, I looked at being gay as being Irish, being tall. It was just part of who I was. The fact that the Navy didn't want gays didn't seem to be a problem because nobody knew I was gay. When I took the oath of office, I uh, did not identify myself as a lesbian. I, I was um, brought up in a, a very strict Lutheran Christian home and uh, thought it was sinful, to tell you the truth, when I entered the Naval Academy. And I realized that there were certain aspects of the Marine Corps that I really was drawn to, the closeness, the camaraderie, uh, the band of brothers, and that's what I wanted to do. I was committed as a senior to be a Marine, and that's what I chose. I have a very specific memory of the very first night that I got to the ship, going back to Iraq thinking, I'm gay. I don't even belong here on some level because if they found out, they would kick me off the ship tomorrow morning. And so from the very beginning, from the very first night there, that was in my mind. And I undoubtedly made my adjustment to the ship and to the crew members that much more difficult. I spend six months on a ship with three guys that I spend all day with as my roommates and I hear about what they're going through with their wives or their kids or anything like that and I can't ever share. That I felt like a liar. That the relationships and the friends I were forming on the ship, I always withheld a part of myself. So nobody really knew me. Nobody really, so there was no connection, there was no strong sympathy. It added to just the overall stress of performing in combat. So there I sat, I was 26 years old, I was a Marine officer, and I realized that I was gay. And the only thing I could think was, what the hell do I do now? So they brought this young lady to my desk, and as soon as I signed the confining orders, they put the handcuffs on her. And that was a moment I will never forget. And I think it was that moment when I realized I could not do this anymore. It takes a tremendous amount of energy to separate your personal life from your work life when you're gay and you have a secret that will effectively get you fired. I didn't feel like I was a whole person. I had this whole side of myself that I wasn't able to express. It was getting to a point where my two lives couldn't exist separately anymore and I couldn't reconcile my gay life in my, in my marine life, so I left. They know everything. I don't know how, but they know everything and, and I'm so sorry and there wasn't much for her to say and, and, and I proceeded to, to go back to my room and, and pack my things. I am very proud to have graduated from the United States Naval Academy. I can tell you I'd do it all again. Through the time.